Okay, so I believe that this is the uh, first match. I think it is the first match. First. In Georgia. No, actually there was a competition in California one week before this. Okay. okay. Well, so this is like the second or third qualifier so ever. So, we've got two robots, one red, one blue, into that back zone there. Yep. So, once again, even there, it's, it's a rush it for the begins back zone. with a tie. Yeah. But that was a pretty quick dash there by the red robot. Uh, I think they probably both have speed ratios. And they look relatively light, so it might have been rather or, easy for them well, to... Well, they might just have wheels that have traction. <laughs> Oh, well, that Unlike too. us, yeah. we don't have yes. we need wheels of traction. No, th there was definitely some speed built into that robot, at least for the red. Mm -hmm. Really, in terms of autonomous, at least have something that you're, that allows your robot to just drive forward, because that's going to get you some points. If you don't have time to program a complex autonomous that's going to handle the bowling ball and get to the back zone, or do whatever, get to that zone right in front of the starting platform because it's easy and it's Good. effective because you don't want to just sit there during autonomous no and, and worst case if you don't want to go to that zone then you can just blow over everything as the name of the game suggests yeah i remember at one point during um one of our autonomous strategies was to um since we were going straight forward we took the outside um, the one that's sort of not against the wall, the other side of where your autonomous can start, and we rammed forward hitting one of those crates so that we couldn't prevent a strategy like what we saw earlier with Robugs. Yeah. Uh, and But in order to do that, you need the power to knock things over. Which yeah. we don't really yeah. possess. But I mean, we, we did less about our robots. More let's, about these robots. Let's yeah. resume the. Let's see the strategies play. of this very first round. We've got some refs checking for some possible entanglement. It looks like. Oh, in fact, or in the bold over manual, over. it wow. does say that if your robot is in a position after autonomous where it is rammed up against the wall or another robot, then the refs can go and adjust it. Of course you don't want to have the refs adjust that every time. They're, they're not going to be very happy referees at the end of the day. Well, we keep doing that. they'd be alright with it. And but. it will cause some damage to your robot, most likely. Okay, so, right, so okay, first off you looks see... Looks like we've got the two robots it looks like the red robot is getting tripped up by those balls the, by the ramp. Yeah, you really see a lot of these um, these robots trying to knock down these crates because they... They want to get the balls. Yeah. Yes. And it really turns into chaos. Oh! Ah, oh, Mohammed! Ah! <laughs> okay. It, it really turns into chaos because you've and got crates everywhere, you've, you've got, got balls. everywhere. Yeah. That's another thing that I noticed about... Um, some of the strategies that the robots had, uh, that the drivetrains most of the time are not adequately suited for mm -hmm. these yeah. racquetballs that are going to be all over the field. I mean, usually you needed to, you had a very straightforward approach to a drivetrain. Like in Hot Shot, you just had to have a simple drivetrain. And get over it, you need to put a bit more thought into it, but it's these solid platforms that you're trying to get over. And but in uh, bold over, you have all these balls Looks and crates like we've and random got some stuff. Crate that you manipulation. Have to deal with it. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks like some of these robots are just. Looks like a blue alliance robot stuck in that corner with all that those crates just mm -hmm. pinned up, balls. unable yeah. to oh. move. That's another thing. A lot. You'll see a lot of these robots lose a significant portion of their mobility because of these racquetballs and all the things that are. It, all it the is chaos. Yeah. Uh, it's nobody can really predict where each ball is going to go. Yeah. There's just a pile, and you, you see this so often. You just see this huge pile of crates and racket balls that you can't even traverse. And that's why perhaps the most maneuverable robots are the most successful ones. Why is he bending down? <laughs> so, uh, okay, for some reason at this match, the commentator for this was making a big deal about getting up on the end platform, which gets now, you absolutely no points. this gets you no points. points if you see a robot park on the 
and platform of the ramp. That does not get you oh, any points. Sorry. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs>